Hey YouTubers, um, something slightly different. I came across this this morning and it is in very good shape. Some of you might already know what it is, some of you might not. This is what they would have called <coughs> in Ireland or probably throughout Europe and throughout any place that was limestone. This is what they call a lime kiln. Um, in here they would have set a fairly substantial fire. Um, would have burnt for a good few days and it would have it, limestone is actually a relative period how are you doing folks something slightly different for you today um some of you might already know what this is this is what we call a lime kiln um they're dotted all over the countryside in ireland and Possibly beyond in the UK and every place else usually where there's limestone available um, The idea of it was you put limestone like that sandstone now, but you put limestone limestone is generally very soft So you fill the limestone in from the, the chimney above on top You mixed it with peat which is turf um, Which is readily available in Ireland or maybe timber and you lit a substantial fire here now this is a larger lime kiln um a lot of them would have been very very small but the idea of the lime kiln was a lot of times the lime was used for fertilizer on the fields it's a very very cheap form of fertilizer because if you're using farmyard manure over and over again year in year out um the ph of your soil rises way up and your soil becomes very acidic and it's not great for growing grass and we all know we need grass for animals and that time going back we say 200 250 300 years ago when these would have been introduced first the only farm of fertilizer they had at that time would have either been seaweed from the sea if you were living near the coast or a farmyard manure that was kind of that was kind of it um but the lime balanced the pH of your soil. Of course, the lime then was also used for several other different applications. It was used for what we would call whitewashing. Now, people in Ireland still whitewash, not so much. Um, I remember my grandmother doing it probably right up until the, probably the late 90s. Um, you'd mix the lime with water. You'd mix it with hot water um, to, and it would make kind of a paint. It was a very cheap paint and you'd whitewash the walls of your house and there was different theories behind this which I can't remember at the moment and um, you'd whitewash the walls and all this and you know, the lime was also used for a mortar it was mixed with bull's blood and hair and to make a kind of a cement um, yeah believe it or believe it or not bull's blood hair and cement to make to bull's blood and hair to make a f kind of form of cement it was obviously mixed in with sand and whatever to make a mortar but um they just used the lime for that as well but the lime had several applications i suppose it was probably introduced into ireland by landlords by english landlords 150 or 200 years ago but the idea was you lit a big fire here and right there you can see the the lime would have came down down through the chimney as you would have had a massive fire now i looked it up to get limestone to turn into powder you need a 900 to a thousand degree fire burning for up to three days so that's it now we'll go up on top and we will give a look of what's left of the chimney okay guys we're here up on top this would have been the chimney you'll see the some of the stone there would have been all the way around here would have been fairly substantial size and we would have brought the limestone up here and it would have been put into the chimney with either peat or timber or sticks or whatever it would have been all mixed and the flame of course from below would have came up through the fire and of course the way you'd have it then it would be set in such a place that in a hump in the field and you'd always have it facing towards uh, the wind um, so the wind now what way are we facing we're facing kind of um, north east I would say and the wind would have come in and it would have caused um, a kind of a draft or whatever up through the lime up through the fire and it would have gotten, gotten you a hotter 
or a hotter temperature. Now a lot of these have been destroyed over the years but um, an awful lot of them are marked on the Orient survey maps of Ireland that were done about 150 years ago if you wanted to look them up. Um, they were dotted around the place that were started off I suppose larger ones on estate farms and things like that and they would have went they would have went from estate farms and then people would have built their own smaller ones and it kind of would have went on from there. I love this kind of stuff. I love that stone structure, that stone building. That that's that could be up to 300 years old. That, without a doubt, could be 300 years old or maybe more. Um, yeah, just, of course, lime that time wasn't available. You had to crush it yourself and you had to do it was very manual labor intensive and somebody probably had to give three days and three nights here tending the fire and you can imagine the amount of timber they would have had to cut to keep the fire going for three days and three nights and to get the even the amount of lime to get the small amount of lime out of it now everyone done their own a lot of lime kilns were kind of people shared them people built them in their lands and they shared them like a lot of lime kilns that i'm aware of are very close to roads um i suppose where they could have brought the horse and car we could have brought the limestone and and got it going and yeah the limestone fell down there into the fire and you'd have fired there you'd have fired above so like i said 900 to 1000 degrees <clears throat> and of course Limestone now is available at your local cooperative. You can get it in granulated form or you could buy it powdered form and they still spread it on fields. So maybe try a bit of lime in your own yard. Um, if your lawn is looking a bit dodgy, um, maybe later on there in the spring, March, April, May, spread a bit of lime on half your lawn and see does it um, make a bit of a difference. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this different video we'd straight away from the machinery but we'll be back with more machinery maybe bits of bits more of this let me know if you want to see more stuff from the irish landscape or the irish whatever let me know what you think you want to see or what you'd like to see and i'll do my very best to, to try and find it or find one and who knows all right guys give a like give a subscribe give a thumbs up and um look forward to the next one thank you Period. Well, great. Here's a video.